Hi friends, today is an interesting topic about the assembly of simple compact switching mode power supply. Here you can see the finished power supply. I did it for a specific purpose. It is planned to collect small switching power supply with an output voltage of about 40 volts and a current of about 3 amperes. This is a standard half bridge power supply based on IR2153 chip. Such constructions are popular among beginners as the first switching mode power supply. The electrical diagram is not entirely traditional. Instead of two half-bridge capacitors, there are only one smoothing electrolyte C3 with 400 volts voltage. At the input are the fuse F1 and the thermistor. Thermistor is for current decrease at the moment of switching on unit 2 AC network. Its resistance is of about 3.5 ohms at room temperature. Such a thermistor can be found on the motherboard of the computer power supply. Its parameters aren't critical, you can use any similar. Next is a simple AC filter. You can exclude it. Then the scheme looks like this. The capacitors in the filter circuit shouldn't be less than 250 volts. A capacitance of 0.33 to 0.1 microfarad. The diode bridge is with a voltage not less than 400 volts and a current of at least 1 ampere. It can be collected from the separate diodes. Next is a smoothing capacitor. As I have said, it is 400 volts because the peak value of the mains voltage of about 311 volts. Its capacity is selected from 1 microfarad per 1 watt of power. This is the ideal. But in my case, it is smaller than needed, just I haven't found the right capacitor. Power to the chip is taken from the AC line. Current is limited by 2 watt resistor R1. Then the voltage is rectified by a low power diode VD3 and fits the chip. Near the chip is installed the smoothing capacitor. FATs are any end channel with a voltage not less than 400 volts and a current of at least 4 ampere. It can be less as I have, but the reserve of current never hurts. FAT gate limiting resistors may be from 10 to 33 ohms, the power of 0.25 watt. The core ring is taken from the electronic transformer. The calculation was done by a special program. Example of calculation can see by clicking on the annotation on the video and to link below the video. By the way, in the project archive is a screenshot of my transformer calculation. The operating frequency of the generator with such components of frequency control circuit is about 45 to 47 kilohertz. Transformer working well, it is not heated. At the output is used the half-wave rectifier with a midpoint, only for reduced diodes quantity. I put dual Schottky diodes in TO220 package, with a resolve voltage of 60 volts and a current of 10 ampere, taken from the computer power supply. Next is a small inductor L1. You can exclude it and replace. I reel 7 turns of 1mm wire on small ferrite shaped as dumbbell by jumper. Its parameters aren't critical. I reel up 7 turns of 1mm wire on small ferrite shaped as dumbbell. Properly assembled unit will work immediately. All components are also recommended to check out before installation, even if they are new. First start, of course, to do with a safety bulb of 40 to 60 watts. It should blink quickly in the moment of switching on. This means that the capacitor is charged. Now check the voltage at the output. I can say that everything is within the desired range. This is pulses on the gate of a FAT. In fact, during the measurement, due to inattention were burned both transistors. Accidentally, I shorted gate with a high voltage by probes for oscilloscope. And both were replaced by the IRF840. They have a wide reserve. By the way, note that there are two separate grounds. The output ground is not connected to the high voltage ground. In the next video, I will explain all the nuances associated with such power supplies. How to identify and eliminate the problem. How to understand is the unit working properly and that should replace at a certain problem. If you like the video, please share with friends. Thanks for watching. With you was Akakasyan.